Okay, so here's my conspiracy theory. Get your tinfoil hats on because it's gonna get real. Every single one of the hierarchs in the Xbox division at Microsoft is a person who's been placed there by the competition, by either Sony or Nintendo. Pick your choice, and I'm gonna let you know why. I can't believe what the fuck I am reading at this point. Sony or Nintendo has in their pockets everyone from the lowest manager all the way up to Phil. We had the Xbox showcase earlier today, or yesterday, according to where you are. And we saw some good things. We actually saw some good things after all this freaking time of silence and failure. And a little bit afterwards, it was confirmed. Starfield, the flagship for Xbox Studios, will be running at 30 frames per second on the quote most powerful console end quote now as a person who actually knows the specs of these machines i can tell you that on many fronts the xbox series x is indeed a very capable machine more capable than the ps5 in certain aspects but what they're doing right now there at microsoft when it comes to games like this is asinine and disrespectful and i'm gonna explain to you why it's disrespectful and i'm not gonna waste my entire morning here because i haven't slept and i'm tired af microsoft is promoting the xbox series x as the most powerful solution one can enjoy if they don't have a mid to high end pc okay they are promoting the whole 4K 120 BS story from day one straight on the box. These consoles are not capable of 4K 120 unless you're playing really simple looking games. We know that it's been tested for two years now. It's tried and true but they're capable of compromise on the resolution front or the frames front in order to produce a smooth experience. It is disrespectful what's being done here because someone of the higher ups thinks like this. We're gonna make it shiny running at 4K so the morons will pay for it to look shiny because they can't tell 30 from 60 FPS. And 60 FPS for a first person or a mainly first person game in 2023 that people will be playing on high refresh rate monitors and TVs says they think you're fucking stupid and they want you to buy it because it will look good even if in motion you're gonna be bleeding your eyes out because of the low frame rates. And this is a Bethesda game and don't expect any first day optimization to this thing. So they said, 4K 30 on the Series X, the most powerful console, and 1440p 30 FPS on the Series S. This is a disgrace at this point, man. Are they trying to kill the brand? Are they trying to kill Xbox? Are the people responsible for making this business thrive right now, trying to bring it down to the bottom? Because, yes, I know they hope that someone's uncle will buy it for some kid somewhere because they don't know any matter. And we have to be realistic about who they are trying to sell the bulk of these products to. Clueless people, not core gamers. Clueless people who don't know what frame rates are who will see 4k and will know approximately what it is because they might have a 4k tv to watch football on but for a game that's supposed to be a showcase of the hardware's capabilities and the developer sensibilities when it comes to modern role playing 30 frames per second is awful 
and take into consideration Bethesda's track record when it comes to frame pacing and the overall performance of their games, this is gonna hurt guys. And it is pathetic to see that they're going this way after Sony has shown us games like Horizon Forbidden West, which is even today one of the top performing games when it comes to optimization ever. So what is their end game here? Well, make it look good and sell it to the clueless masses, as I said earlier. This is their flagship. They already botched the situation with Halo. There's not a Gears of War in sight. The next Hellblade is coming in 2024 and they didn't show any gameplay. We don't know what that game will be. It might be an open world go and gather tomatoes game for all we know. And now this, their freaking flagship is a game that will be running frame rates that we got used to in the previous generation, the generation before that. This is the cutting edge. And some people who obviously know nothing about programming think that because the game's gonna be big, the moment to moment gameplay is unavoidably gonna be slow. It doesn't work like this, guys. A game doesn't load everything in one go and just stream it in front of you. There is a whole science behind optimizing games. How they run, how they load their assets, how they produce their frame rates. And what's been done here is just a case of making the presentation the best they can when they're gonna show it on viewing screens, and yet we'll play, you'll feel like it's a slog. And I cannot believe they did this again after Redfall. Redfall is an example to avoid on all fronts, including the frames per second. They had to stick fucking stickers behind their boxes to sell that shit. And now this, a game we've been waiting for for I don't know how many years, they blatantly come out and say it like we're, I don't know, mentally dysfunctional and we don't understand what we will be playing. And yeah, it will probably be a good game at its core and it's gonna be on Game Pass, so there's no reason why the hell not you should play it. But dude, when is Xbox Studios as a brand start to make games without making some sort of heinous compromise. And I understand the third party developer saying that, well, we don't have insider knowledge or access to the API to the extent that we would need to over optimize it and make it run perfectly. Bethesda is part of the Xbox brand right now. They should have all the technical know-how and support from Microsoft to make these fucking things run optimally. Why can't Sony do it with their first parties and Microsoft can't? It feels like we got a good presentation and it was like, oh man, that was too, too good for you guys. Like, eat some shit now to wash it down. Eat some diarrhea. Shouldn't be too happy about what you're seeing in this day and age. We don't want to spoil you. Fucking disgrace, man. Tomorrow the internet's gonna be a fire for this shit. And I just want to come to you early because I didn't sleep. I read this and I was disgusted. So discuss, please. No fanboys. I don't reply to fanboy trolls. Please respect yourselves. Don't buy shit that's half done or half cooked. And I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it for the Xbox brand, man. They're, they have no destination at this point. I'm very disappointed with this crap. I'm gonna play it on, on PC and I'm gonna get a hundred fucking frames because I had to get a good rig to be able to do my job. But where is the respect for the people who got their fucking console? Where's the most powerful system? Where are those insane frame rates and resolutions combined? Get your act together, Xbox. This is a fucking disgrace. Until next time, be well, stay frosty and always strive for perfection, peeps. Cheers.